Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As usually, I'm gonna show you the Forzaton and also the cars I've been using for the championships. So let's have a look first at the photo challenge. What we need, we need a rally monster at the quarry. So what do you need to do? It's pretty simple. Go to the cars, go to your filter, take a rally monster. And as you can see, there are a lot of rally monsters that you can take. Then go to the quarry. It's very simple. The quarry is here located, as you can see. Just put the card there, make a picture, and you have the photo challenge. Then let's go to the Forzaton. Let's see at the Forza shop. We have the nice McLaren and also the Ford F150, the, the Bertie design. And then we have the patrol hat and outfit. Now let's have a look what we need to do for the Forzaton. We need to own and drive the nice Mercedes, the 2.516. We need to have three stars a total on the speed trap. So that's easy. Six clean racing skills, also very easy. And then we just need to drive. So let's go have a look at the speed trap. The speed trap, basically, that doesn't really matter. I'll put the, the I'll show you the one that I use for that. That's basically this one at Lakehurst. I just go from. Uh, it doesn't really matter what's uh, where you go. You need to go 305. So let's start from here. The cars. Uh, it's a proper S1 tune. I didn't tune it to S2 or whatever because it's combined stars so you just take some distance you go downhill a little bit if you go a little bit further you can easily do the three stars so that was very easy now then the next one what you need to do is six clean racing skills that's also very easy you go to the drag strip. I'll put the other filter off. There you go. Go to the big one. What you need to do is you just... I had to do it twice. Well, basically one and a half times. And then just keep driving. You will get the clean racing skills easily. The last one is just drive up and down uh, the highway. That's the fastest way to do it. You need to do 20 miles. Okay, let's have a look at the championships. The first one is the trial. I'm gonna put the challenges off. The trial that was up here in the north. There you go. So what do you need? It's cross country and you need an A800 extreme off-road. So let's have a look at the extreme off-road. We need the A-class. Extreme off-road is there you go. So for cross country, well, you need a little bit of a heavy car. The bowler does very well on that. You also have the trail cats. It's also very fast. Uh, you can even use the rally fighter. So basically you have three choices. The trail cat is basically the fastest, but the rally fighter, fighter is also good. And you have the bowler. So they are all three tuned. Um, I always stick to the bowler because I like that car. I've been driving it for two years. But this one is faster, a little bit less handling. And then you have this one. This is like uh, average. It's between both of them. So you can basically choose whatever you want. Um, now, what can we win from that? We win the Mercedes, the X-Class. But that's not a new car, so don't need to show it. Then we have the showcase. That's with the taxi and the hovercraft. You, uh, the hovercraft slows down at the end anyway. And then here at playgrounds. There you need a A800. It's the off-road. It was. Yeah, there you go. So let's have a look what car that we're going to take. An A-class for the off-road. So we have a lot of choices. Um, what can you do? The Ford Raptor is always a very fast one. This one is a little bit slower. I wouldn't take that. Um, this one is a little bit slidey. 
this one has a fast acceleration and then you have the rubble so the rubble is carpa so for people that don't have that you can take either the raptor or even the mercedes x-class it depends a little bit what you prefer in playgrounds um actually the cars are good i would go for the raptor or maybe the mercedes because you also want it now the car that you win from that is the mini x rate so let's go have a look at the championships here you have the hoonigan you have a s1900 hoonigan and dirt race well it's pretty obvious if you are already been a while in the game you have the hoonigans if you have this one there you go the ford rs200 take that one you will leave the driver ties behind uh, very easy but you can also take the Ford Escort RS 1800 if you are a complete new player and you don't have this one. So you have two choices. The RS 200 is the fastest and then the RS 1800. Now what can we win from that? We win the 2016 Hoonigan and that's this one. Well it's basically this one. But this is, uh, it's the, 90, the Hoonigan the 9. Yeah that's the one. This one. Okay, let's go to the next one. Like a boss. So, base cost more than or equal to 2 million. Now, it's road racing. It is an S2 and it's snow. So, what do you do? Trust me on this one. It is very easy. Like, really easy to do. The car that I took for this. You will say, what did you do now? Is actually this one the Ferrari F50 now you will say her huh, that car is not 998 no I'm not taking a 998 in this championship um, this is the cheapest car as you can see it's 2 million and the PI so the S2 is 945 why do I do that because the driver ties will also have a low PI and this car you actually leave all driver ties easily behind and the car is pretty grippy on the snow that's why i tune it only to 945 um, i could even tune it lower but i think this one is uh, just perfect for this race it's grippy it is, has good acceleration handling it has everything you need and it's the cheapest car you can actually take in that championship now what do we win from that we win the ford mustang 69 then the last championship is midnight battle we need a s1 900 track toy it's street scene now you have a few options so let's have a look at the s1 track toys there you go now this one i wouldn't recommend that the back mono you can use it uh, I don't have it tuned with dirt tires on it. Um, if you have this one, if you have car pass, the Camaro is a very good car, very grippy. The Viper, I do have a dirt tune for it. So this one is always one of the best cars to actually take, especially for handling and grip. But then you need to get my dirt tune for it. And I actually used the Jaguar F-Type Project 7. It's a very, very fast car and it has a good handling and grip. Now, the only thing, but that's for every car, when you get on the thick snow, you lose a little bit of grip. But that goes for every car that you can do. You can also take the X-Bow. Uh, and for the rest, I or the Lotus. But I would recommend the Jaguar as first the viper well they're a little bit equal but the jaguar is uh, faster than the dodge and if you have car pass the camaro now what can we win from that we win the koenigsegg cc gt also a very good car that you win from that championship now let's go to the pr stunts i'll put it on the map So I'll go to this one. This one has always been an annoying one and I'll show you what car I took for that. 
Ah, and it's dark. That's always fun for me. So, I will go to the S2. And I'll take this car. Wait, where is it? Oh, I need to put my favorites on, otherwise I have too many cars. Here we go, the 1997 Lotus Elise GT1. But then again, you can take the Mosler or the Hoonigan RS. Um, it's basically what you find the most easy to drive. Now I'm probably gonna fail because it's dark and I'm... No, no I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna jinx it. Uh, there you go. I was not fast enough, but you can see the car is pretty stable for that. And I failed, but that's not a problem. This car is actually very stable to do this, so I would recommend you taking this car. Then here we have a speed trap. You need to start from here. Wait, that was a little bit too fast. There you go. I'll start from here. There I take the Mosla. The Mosla is always uh, the best choice, or you actually can take the Ferrari, the other one. But I just stick to my Mosler. When something works and gives you everything you need for a long time, you just stick to it because it's reliable and I like that. So let's do that quickly. I'll just put the car in third. Car is fast enough, so I uh, just need to watch out traffic. There you go. You can also start from the other side, but it doesn't really matter. If you have the Ferrari or the Mosler, um, you definitely fast enough. Then here you have the speed zone. I also did that with uh, the Mosler. So you start. I started from this side, the right side. Just be careful on the corners. I don't have any any ABS or grip on, so I just need to be a little bit careful. As you can see, I uh, went a little bit too fast. There you go. So don't do what I do, um, because I have traction control and everything off. Just be careful and you will have it. Now you can do it with the Mosler, the 2T, the 2, um, or you can do it with this Ferrari. Uh, where is the Ferrari? Or you can use the Evolution if you have that. It's also very fast and grippy. So basically it doesn't matter. Um, but not everybody, especially the new players, don't have this uh, Ferrari. So you can always take the Mosler. Now let's have a look at the cars. There is not really a new car here. Um, for some reason I have the ATS. I got it twice. Don't ask me why. Um, and here it's still the same cars. So basically there's no new car. And well there's not much to say about it uh, for this week. We will see next week. There is a new HSV GTS R. No that's not the new. I don't know that's not the new. I need to check that out. But that's it for this week. It was a very easy championship. Um, easy races. I hope you enjoyed the video and that the car choices help you getting all the cars. And I'll be streaming on Twitch as usually. So everybody's welcome. We always help out the viewers and everything. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a nice weekend. Bye bye.